गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे इन आर क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द चैप्टर अनस्टेबल आर्थ ओके अनस्टेबल आर्थ हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द हाउ द अर्थ ऑरिजिनेटेड बट वाट इज देयर इन द इंटीरियर ऑफ द आर्थ एंड ड्यू दैट रीजन्स वॉट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ दैट ओके सो लेट्स दैट एट फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट वेन द आर्थ बॉर्न मैंने एट द आर्थ बॉर्न बिफोर 4.8 पॉइंट एट बिलियन सीयर्स है गो ओके दैट टाइम आर्थ हैज एंड आफ्टर दैट आर्थ गोइंग द सेवरल चेंजेस ओके एट फर्स्ट द आर्थ इज अ फुल वेरी हॉट बॉल ओके दैट देन इट्स आफ्टर पासिंग टाइम इट कूल डाउन एंड सॉलिडिफाइड बट द सॉलिडिफाइड ओनली द सर्फेस ऑफ द आर्थ बट द इंटीरियर ऑफ द आर्थ दट स्टील रिमेन इन इलास्टिक इन स्टेट नॉट दैट मच ऑफ सॉलिड नॉट दैट मच ऑफ लिक्विड ओके एंड ड्यू टू द सम इंटरनल रीजन्स मैं ड्यू टू द प्लेट मूवमेंट देर इज अ मेन मैं सर्फेस मैं सर्फेस द लैंड फॉर्म इज ऑरिजिनेट लैंड फॉर्म मीन्स यू कैन से प्लेन माउंटेन प्लेटो वैली all are originated okay after that what is happened uh, that uh, due to the external uh, energy external uh, agent like the sunlight like the um, uh, wind okay and um, the river okay they uh, reshaping that uh, major landform by the erosional and the depositional work okay now next one uh, we are going to know that the art crust uh in the previous chapter we already know about the art uh, interior of the art that time we have uh, know about the interior um, of the art is actually made up of the several plates okay these plates are always moving they are never static okay they are always moving they are on the asthenosphere understood and about these things uh, the these things is when uh, the plate tectonic uh, regarding the uh, continental drift theory is first proposed by the alfred wegener okay what he said he said that that the uh, at first the land masses all the land masses there is no continent uh, different continents are there all the land masses are together okay that is is known as pangaea so what is pangaea at first you need to know that pangaea means the like, like the northern hemisphere northern hemisphere what uh, co- which continents are there like the north america like the europe uh, asia all these uh, are together and that is is known as the laurasia and uh, in the southern hemisphere what is there southern hemisphere means south america the and um, africa and australia they all are together and that is known as the gondwanaland okay and between them there is a tethys uh, oceans is there okay and uh, what is there and um, all the land masses this laurasians gondwanalands are together that this is known as the pangaea and surrounding this pangaea there is all the um, uh, mainly um, water bodies are there that water bodies is known as uh, panthalassa did you know uh, and uh, the scientist when a geologist or scientist the alfred wegener he also uh, didn't say what the particular reasons is there that the all uh, continents are divided okay all continents are break up there is a no particular reasons is there but due to some reasons that um, plate tectonic some reasons that all the continents are divided okay in break up into the small smaller plate on into the bigger plate okay they are divided now the plate this plate this word first coined by jt wilson okay and the term tectonic is also derived from the agic word which is mean to build up okay to build up and here the theory mainly explain how the fold mountain are formed how the volcanic eruptions and the earthquake takes place and where there is a deep trench and the high reach of the oceans as there and um, all of you know and you already read in the first chapter that the outermost layer of the planet earth that is known as the earth crust and which is made up of the land and the oceans floor mane continental ocean uh, uh, plates and the oceanic plates all they are also mane the ocean plate is heavier than the continental plate so is always going the underneath of the continental crust and um, Uh, as you know that continental crust is made up of silica and aluminum and oceanic crust is made up of silica and magnesium so uh, that is why uh, continental crust is also known as sial and oceanic crust is also known as sima 
ओके एंड एंड वन मोर थिंग यू नीड टू नो यू ऑलरेडी गिव द एग्जाम इन प्रिवियस चैप्टर दैट इज द इंटीरियर ऑफ द आर्ट दैट कॉन्टिनेंटल क्लास इज द लाइटर एंड इट इज मेड अप ऑफ द ग्रेनाइट स्टॉक बट द ओशनिक क्लस्ट इज द heavier and it is made up of basaltic rock okay and the thickness is also you know that the uh, thickness of the continental crust is 70 to 150 km and where the uh, oceanic crust have the uh, very uh, thick okay oceanic uh, ocean as mass thick as 200 km at the part of the continent the surface of the earth is made up of the seven major part, uh, plates okay now we are going to discuss about i told you before that there is a several plates are there uh, several plates are there uh, few plates are small few plates are uh, big okay so here seven plates are mainly the big plates and the 20 plates are the small plates now we are going to discuss about only the um, uh, big plates name here the big plates are the eurasia plates like the indo australian plate african plate antarctic plates uh, north american plate south american plates pacific plates okay and um, some may, uh, smaller important plates name you had to know that is the nazca plate uh, philippines plate caribbean plates arabian plates fiji plates and zuan da fuca plates uh, scotia plates uh, antelope plates and cocos uh, plates okay these are the plates you need to remember okay now here uh, the uh, that the force the dividing force behind the tectonic uh, plate tectonics is mainly uh, the convection scarring which is originated in the uh, mantle mantle mane in the upper mantle there is a asthenosphere located okay there is a asthenosphere located from there a type of current originated that is known as the convection current and due to that convection uh, current what is happened the plates mainly move on the asthenosphere okay and and due to that reasons there is a pushing of the plate sometime the plate uh, plates are moving apart from each other and sometime they coming towards each other when they apart from each other that time the mid oceanic ridge uh, uh, mainly formed and due to that reasons there is a uh, huge amount of uh, volcanic uh, uh, volcano or then mainly the magma is coming uh, up okay and what is uh, when the they, they coming towards each other what will happen the heavier plate will coming down to the uh, lighter plate and that time there is a sinking of the uh, that uh, uh, plates will happen and uh, and in in that case magma wells up at the ridge when the ridge when the gap which is formed from there the the magma will coming out and pushing apart now here one thing you need to know that subduction zone what is subduction zone a subduction zone where the two plate meet one a slide down beneath another okay one two plates coming toward each other one plate is coming down okay coming down due to that uh, because it is heavy and heavy one which is the heavy one that is the oceanic plate and due to that reasons uh, in this uh, boundary what will happen the layer underneath the of uh, the crust the cold sinking plates pulls the crust behind the downwards okay due to that reasons the volcanoes are formed and uh, and these portions this region this region is known as the subduction zone and examples as a you know that pacific oceans uh, there is a um, mane surrounding the pacific oceans the volcanic in the subduction zone as there and that is why the every time volcanic eruptions happen during the uh, and in this pacific ring of fire okay uh, and a uh, lot of volcanic uh, mountains are there you can see the pictures here they see the pictures here lot of volcanic mountains are there around the pacific oceans and that is why every time volcanic eruptions happen uh, so this this ring is known as the known as the uh, pacific ring of fire okay so now next one we are going to the uh, discuss about the plates and their interactions and the effect you know that this tectonic plates move about um, on the hot asthenosphere and they interact um, uh, and one another uh, uh, at their boundary so they are divided into the three types of movement uh, we can see they are what type of movement number 1 is the divergent movement number 2 is the convergent movement and number 3 is the transfer movement so first one divergent plate movement means when the two plates are apart from each other move apart from each other when two plates are moving apart from each other when the 
convergent money two plates are coming towards each other that is the known as the convergent movement and transfer plate movements mean when two plates are along slide not coming towards not apart it will just sliding each other that is is known as the transfer so now we are going to discuss one by one first of all divergent plate boundary this is the boundary when the two plates are spreading apart and moving away from each other so here you can see that there is a there are the mostly on the ocean floor the lifting of the ocean floor enlarges the floor and here number 2 point that the hot magma that rises up from the earth interior as you see the two plates are moving from each other so there is a gap between them so from there the interior the interior from the interior of the earth the magma will come coming down up and they will fill the gap they will fill the gap so that ma that magma cools and solidified and hardness and creating the equal amount of the new crust okay uh, due to the in the age of these two plates so the, in this process you can see the separations of the cold sea floor spreading happened okay so formations of the ocean's crust on the plate boundary creating the underwater mountain ridge uh, that is also called the ocean's ridge as you examples there is a mid atlantic oceanic ridge at the center of the atlantic ocean basin this is the examples of the divergent plate boundary okay Uh, and uh, also the african and the american plates uh, diverse along the uh, each other and they created mid atlantic ridge so divergent plate boundary that is why is also known as the constructive margin okay uh, now see the picture see these are two plates uh, moving from apart each other and the magma will coming up and this gap will fill up by this magma and this magma then um, uh, solidified and create a new uh, lands that is why the divergent plate boundary also called constructive plate boundary here the convergent plate boundary you know the plate boundary where the two plates are moved towards each other in that case what will happen that two plates i already told you that uh, uh, one plates will coming down downwards that is is also called subduction when the lighter continental plates uh, move towards the heavier oceanic plates the lighter continental plates rises up and the heavier oceanic plates will be coming down and this destructive process so that in this case the plates is destroy, destroy na this plate is now um, uh, again uh, the uh, the solid portions will converted into the liquid because of the huge temperature so this is the destructive process and the uh, convergent uh, margin uh, so this is is known as the convergent margin plate boundary is also known as the destructive margin the plate boundary where the subduction takes place and oceanic strains are formed an uh, example is the mariana trench in the pacific oceans was formed the subduction oceanic plate start melting after it entered the asthenosphere i already told you and the mineral materials then rises up and then the plate margin from there the uh, volcanic eruptions happen the volcanoes are formed along the plate boundary so the uh, the volcanic eruptions and the earthquake are very common in the boundary of the subduction zone in the uh, uh, case of the convergent plate boundary as you can see the pictures of this here you can see that the, uh, the oceanic plate the heavy oceanic plate that is uh, down the uh, down below the um, uh, continental plate okay you can see the picture here right this is the oceanic plate and this is the continental plate and due to this uh, convergent the oceanic plate is coming down and these portions is the asthenosphere and here the uh, and and these portions is becoming liquid again due to the huge temperature of the asthenosphere okay okay now next one is the transfer uh, plate boundary in that case i told you that two plates are not coming each other not uh, not Uh, apart from each other they will be sliding down each other so in that case there is an nothing will happen no umane no uh, uh, any constructive work no any destructive work will happen due to that reason so the plates where the two plates slide horizontally or parallel against each other they neither create nor destroy the earth crust so the magma is uh, uh, known as this conservative margin here the magma is mar this margin is known as the conservative margin mane transfer plate boundary example you remember that california sand uh, and dunes fault where the north america and the pacific uh, plate grind uh, past each other horizontally so there is nothing only the fault is uh, created and 
in uh, here you can see mainly the earthquake because the two plates is moving just sliding each other so very maybe the powerful earthquake happened due to this transform plate boundary okay acha examples you can see here this is the uh, this locate um, another uh, plates and here the another plates they just sliding each other and due to that reasons only no you can see this as soon as there is a no mane uh, volcanic eruptions happened neither any constructive eruption happened only the earthquake due to these two plates moving from each other so that's why only one thing happened that is uh, earthquake that is it's for today so i hope all of you understood um, in our next class we are moving to uh, forward to the next topic that is volcanic eruptions okay uh, i hope all of you understood this topic if you have any queries please comment uh, in my video uh, thank you uh, please if you like my video please like uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe my channel thank you